Good morning, man. 25 gamers. Take a look at this little pressure I just cooked up out of the 4 6 bear formation for you guys for Blitz of the Day. Um, here you see we're going to send, uh, I think we're actually going to send, what, three, we're going to send seven guys. We're going to get A gap and edge pressure. Four guys free at the quarterback. Um, I like this play for third and long. This obviously, obviously is not your main play call, but it is very effective. Um, Again, it's it's that it's that formation for like fourth and forever. The play we use is engage eight. Um, we're gonna base the line. We're gonna show blitz. Oh, excuse me, guys. You also, um, excuse me. We're gonna make sure that we come out in this flipped. All right. So we're gonna base the line. We're gonna show blitz. We're gonna globally re-blitz all of our linebackers straight down. And then we're going to crash our line down. And we're going to stand right about here with Branch. And you're going to see, you're going to get that A-gap pressure at the quarterback. Alright, now is there a way to make this better with better coverage? Um, actually, I think there is. Um, I think all you need for this blitz is the left side. I don't think you need the right side. So you could, you could potentially take Roach and put him in a purple zone. And, and now you're only sitting six. And there you see they still get the A-gap pressure at the quarterback. I don't think you can, I really don't think you can put Burnett in his zone as well. Um, but we can try it here for you today. And you see, no, it won't work well. So you have to send six, um, and you're going to get A-gap. And if you send seven, you actually will get, um, you will actually will get, um, um, uh, excuse me guys, you'll actually get a edge blitz as well. So there you see the, the edge blitz come in. If, if the A-gap gets picked up, which it very seldomly will, you'll get that edge blitz in. Now real quickly guys, if they call play action, a lot of people will do that to try to combat this play. If they call play action, you're still going to get a pretty good edge, edge rush. You're going to get two free. So... Yes, your A gap will be stopped. I know it's the end of the world, but unfortunately, that's just the way the game works. So, um, let's see this one more time against play action. And you see, you get you still get the two way, so it's still pretty good. Um, but I do suggest running this defense in a situation where you you know he's gonna probably be passing. But you obviously also know that you don't, like, for example, wait, I mean, the coverage is, 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 is not good. Um, this is kind of that play where you can come out and fill him out. And you can get it from the right edge as well. Just stand on the right side, and you see it will come through the A-gap on the right side as well. So, but again, remember, you're sending seven guys. So, yes, it's good, but you don't have any coverage behind it. I would use this play as, like, a... A scare tactic early on, early on in the game, maybe like first drive. I'll just run this all drive just to kind of scare my opponent and see what routes he's using. So this blitz of the day is is one of the better ones. Uh, real quick, I want to go to the setup one more time. All you got to do is base the line, show blitz, take Roach here, put him in any zone you want. If you just want the A gap, take Branch, put him in a hook zone. Uh, crash line down and depending on which side you want to send it from so here we're going to send it off the left you're going to stand in that left a gap and, and that time we got cut block obviously if you have a fast guy like the like bruce Irving, you'll get in uh clean if you want to send it off the right edge then you're going to need to zone burnett out crash line down stand over the right a gap and there you see you'll come in from the right again if they if they if they do pick it up you're going to get edge pressure anywho so and then, and then, if you want the best one, globally blitz all your linebackers straight down, crash your line down, and stand over that left a gap, and that's going to get you uh, almost a double a gap there. And you see the effectiveness of that pressure. So, guys, this is a, a play that is a scary pressure, but again, remember you are you still have three deep, so you're not going to get killed. But it, you know, a lot of holes are open. Uh, out routes will definitely kill this defense. But remember, you're trying to scare your opponent into throwing bad throws early in games. So this was a pretty good play to start out games with. Uh, four six bear engage eight. Thanks for your time. 
hopefully you enjoyed this, and uh, please do me a favor and retweet this video. Um, it took me a while. It didn't take me a while, but it took me a while to come across this 4-6 bear, mainly because I've been working on a lot of other stuff lately, but I think this blitz is pretty good. Please share it with your friends. Thanks for your time.